supernatural events in a neighborhood of Buenos Aires, Terrified 2017 explained in detail. What happens when you meddle with the things that don't belong to this world? Well, it is what we are about to find out in this Spanish horror flick. A regular series of events of strange and abrupt nature start taking place in the normal street of a city in Buenos Aires. Freestyle script tried to frame within the paranormal borders makes it look like that, except for the fact that its reality is much worse. The creatures of other dimensions ruled by the underworld. Directed by Damien Rugner in 2017 under its native name, Ete Rados, this movie jumps between weakly established characters and the creaks and cold silenced scenes. With a regular homemaker terrorized by ill voices rising in her kitchen sink to a sick mother mourning the death of her child, this movie connects the missing dots through these events. If a tagline is to be assigned to this film, horror with an empty soul might fit the description. First screened at Morbido Fest in Mexico in 2017, this movie clings to its horror figures throughout its running time, which makes it extremely spooky. Following the film, it may appear that you're being confined within certain scenes which may look a bit lost, but the grinding fear keeps you fixated. Before you run to watch this Shudder exclusive, let's have an overall look at this year's Halloween night flick here on Marvelous Videos. Before we go into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click from you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. A terrified town of creepy stunts. It's a regular day somewhere in the middle of an unknown block in Argentina's capital city until something makes it unusual. Because that's what it is destined to be in the world of horrors, right? Starting with the annoying behavior of a neighbor and his wife's regular complaints, Juan is unaware of the terror creeping in until he experiences the live telecast of it. The terrible smashing of the body against the walls would make your eyeballs sick, giving you no time to breathe. While Walter, the man living next door, struggles to keep his sanity through the nights, he finds it hard to get help for him. To collect evidence to prove his condition, he decides to record the night and its horrendous creatures. As he sleeps through the time, he is woken up by a thud of his camera and a creepy shadow displayed on the front wall. After hitting the play button on the recorder, he is led to the disturbing truth prevailing among his bedroom walls. The sluggish, pale, alien-like creatures emerging from beneath his bed made Walter utterly sick and white. And as he feels fear surrounding him, the young man disappears into the nothingness with the screen turning pitch black. Another mishap takes place across the street involving the death of a 10-year-old child, which leads to the investigation of paranormal activities. Foons, the local deputy figure, teams up with his old friend Jano, a former forensic investigator, to solve the matter of his ex-girlfriend who is dealing with the loss of her son. As they both figure out the situation for the moment, Jano runs into a famous paranormal investigator, Dr. Maura Albrecht, only to bust out the evil theories surrounding their town. With her other colleague, Dr. Rosentog, the trio suits up to dig the mystery hiding below the grounds. As the trio takes on each house singly, they are introduced to the mishaps gradually with Rosentog finally able to find the foreign entity. But unmasking some of the weirdest and creepy things in the world comes at a terrible cost. Witnessing the brutal death of his teammates is left with no other option but to escape the sight. But not so easily. As he makes it to the end of the city, he comes up with a solution to this threat. Burn the whole street down to ashes. That being said, the city seems to get rid of the aliens until it reappears in the last scene of the movie. As some of the investigators visit Juan in the facility and interrogate him, they get all their answers when a chair smashes abruptly on their faces. As plain and repetitive as it seems, terrified is something you wouldn't mind watching. With the invasion by unknown tall and soggy creatures, these lifeless bodies seem to run their period by gradually turning the living planet into a ball of dead mass. Our first direct face-off with these interdimensional creatures happens at Walter's house. As it looks, these abrupt bodies make their existence in the dark and are afraid of even the slightest ray of light. 
Also, it happens to seek their company through the dead, which helps them stay alive. Or possibly, they can turn the dead back to life, marking their territory through the terror of zombies. Is this the return of the Zombies franchise project? Well, maybe it can be a mixed bag of that and the Hell Dimension or the multiverse. The complexity of the movie can be noticed time and again. With Walter perishing into the world of nothingness, it questions his period of existence. It looks like everything is going down in this black hole which somewhere would turn out to be a gateway to a whole dark universe. On the other hand, Alicia, the deputy's ex, seems to be a little odd at times. It is of no doubt that she can be the monitor of the whole hell dimension or she could be the messenger from the other universe which led to all these arrangements. The nasty aliens making their limited appearances happen to keep the fear intact on screen. Be careful. Every time you go through a bedroom scene, it's your cue to keep a one-arm distance from your screen. Adding science fiction to the horror makes it more intriguing. With the time-space dynamics working hand-in-hand, hand, it adds a geeky tone to the bigger picture. Heltiverts, the creatures of Hell Dimension. Nothing scares you until the moment you see it. Spooky creatures landing from various dimensions on Earth just to spread chaos to induce fear is not a new concept for films. In Terrified, we tend to watch these life-sucking creatures which find their home under your resting space. Ruining the human world from the dark undergrounds, these inverted bodies are not willing to stop at any cost. The Upside Down is a well-established dimension in terms of the popular series Stranger Things. We are already aware of the opening of the gate event which leads to the interdimensional hell. It seems to happen that with these cracks and portals the rest of the Predators entered which remained linked to the show's monsters unknowingly. Sharing its life cycle mostly with that of amphibians, they seem to lay eggs or larvae. If fed properly, these organisms don't consume much time to achieve their adult form. In its mode of survival and its hunt as seen prominently in the movie, it mainly consumes the living wholly or targets the dead to retain its life. But it turns out both the creatures from the same dimension shares the same weakness. The heat Fire. As Boone sets fire to one of the houses, Jano turns out to escape but is nowhere to be seen later. Tunnels and cracked hollow spaces between the walls appear to be their favourite. They infect and kill their host and disappear into these dark spaces. As seen, when Dr. Mora discovers the huge crack in Juan's house, her eyes meet with the disturbing figure hiding inside it which later snaps her head inside its black space. These heliverts, with their supernatural powers, hold the ability to rule the world of the dead. With partially bringing the dead boy back to life, the skeletal-like aliens proved that they would not stop until they turn every living entity into hollow shells of creepiness. Nothing about the background of these crawling bodies is known, however, it still has the ability to spook our nights and days for long enough. Get ready just to get terrified at the next level. With Netflix and Shudder successfully running the horror flick, the sequel for The Terrified is in high demand. And, as not to let down the expectations, director Damien Rugner promises to give his audience the five times gorier sequel. With screenplay on the works, it's the direct attachment to the first part rather than a spin-off. Also, giving more history to the town, Rugner prefers to keep it simple, yet trendy, in an old-school way. The abrupt end, put to the characters with no specific reasons, could be explained in the second part, which would provide us with a more explicit storyline. Adding intense violence and horror is what the Argentinian director is famous for. As we desperately wait for the second part, there are possibilities of the return of some characters from the previous film. Introducing advanced, mind-deflecting aliens as counterparts to the previous ones would make the film feel more surreal to the audience. Not disclosing about the release dates yet, the terrified director has the audience hooked onto his horror franchise.
As the long, cold nights await, it's the perfect season to upgrade your horror watch list with this sci-fi creepy flick. This is all the time we had for today's episode. We hope you guys liked it. It would be awesome if you guys can take some time to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to tell us which topic you want us to cover in the comment section. Have a fantastic day ahead and stay safe.